Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. This video where they watch so now Thanksgiving service for Godwin Obaseki, the Edo State Governor, and Philip Shaibu, his deputy, for the election victory where they win. Enjoy the video. Person who can recognize and acknowledge. Take note of those two adjectives are used. Recognize it, acknowledge it. A spirit of I mean grace will come upon you that will qualify you to eliminate. I'm not going to complain about nobody. No, that's not God's will for you. You're not going to complain because the people spend a lot. God knew you have so much to offer, so much to give. And I want to say that because you recognize and acknowledge in thanking God today that God is with you, you're going to eliminate all complaints and replace them with praises and thankfulness, knowing that God, who began a good work in you, these four years is going to complete it beyond your expectations. Finally, I want to say you need to maintain your integrity. There's one thing that virtue of Jesus manifested in your life through thick and thin for you was your integrity. Don't give it up for nothing. God is so great, you and your team. The loyalty of your deputy, the bonding together, the unity of the team, my goodness, that was from the throne of grace. And God saw that. And in unity, God will bless and do whatever he needs to do, regardless of what man can do. So maintain integrity because when you maintain integrity, your excellencies, it's going to be a situation of demonstrating that you are not self-seeking, you are not self-serving. You are the people-oriented governor and team. It's about the people, about serving them. God saw that. And when God saw that, he stood up for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So because you are a man of integrity, you are going to hold on to that virtue like never before. Lift up yourself and your team. Hold on to it because a man who maintains integrity, which means that you say what you do and you do what you say, your yea is yea, your nay is nay. Because you are not concerned about what man thinks, therefore your main concern is that what would God think? What does God want me to do? Understanding that you are accountable to God and His people who have brought you back. The second step to complete what they saw you started. And nothing was going to stand in the way. I want to thank the Lord as you understand your accountability to God and His people and you depend on God so much. Abandon yourself to God in faith and fearing nothing because the Lord is ahead of you all the time. God wants you to know He's so mighty, He's so great, He's so gracious as you completely depend upon God to deliver the dividends of democracy through these four years. Like Joseph, you live a God-dependent life. Yes. Even in the midst of great adversity, trust God to speak to you, to direct you, to instruct you. You don't need a prophet. You are a prophet for yourself. You are a deputy. God will be speaking, directing, instructing, leading as you put your feet on his footprints. These four years, you'll be amazed. Beyond the expectation, you will do. In the name of Jesus. Joseph lived a God-dependent life. You know, over in the midst of great adversity. Because I want to tell the next four years, the rest so in the house of God for your fulfillment. Psalm 75, 5 and 6 says, For promotion cometh not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Your total dependence and faith in God, I prophesy to you today and your team in God, will open the dawn of a new door these four years. This door, unprecedented, that will and become an even greater display of God's hands upon your life and your team. Why? Because he had a vision that he has given to you that needed to be fulfilled. And nothing was going to stand in the way of that vision. Shall we celebrate that victory? God therefore wants you to serve the people. The people have so much. Their expectation is so high. And I know the expectation of the right hand of the above. God will make sure you serve. We're so happy you'll be fulfilled. It would be so beautiful. You know what one thing Joseph did before I take my seat? Joseph refused to act in the flesh. Yes, and he remained dependent on God and his spirit. Exercising God-inspired restraint. I love one of the statements you made too. I was very attentive. You said the war is over. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus for that. Amen. No more. Because it's all over. Thank God for your life. You want to see God even more when things are going well. That's the wisdom of man. 
We see God even more when things are doing very well. Because when your back was against the wall, my dear, this team, my goodness, God showed up. As you trusted in God and watched in faith, God brought the dream to fulfillment. I want to thank the Lord because in 126 days, when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion, we're like, man, the dream, a dream. Thank the Lord for your life. Thank the Lord for Daniel 4.17. It says the living need to know that the most high rest the affairs of men, but the kingdoms of men, and give it to whosoever he will. He sets up over it the basis of men. We are carrying a new path for history in this nation. Watch out. We are an instrument that God has used for a purpose. And finally, Ecclesiastes 9 11 says, uh, The race is never to be swift, my beloved. The race is never to be swift. The battle is never to be strong. Nor does bread come to the wise. Nor does wealth come to the brilliant of favor. Oh, favor doesn't even come to the learned. But time and chance is yours today. Celebrate time that God has given. Celebrate the chance that God has given to you. Time and chance happen to them all by God and God alone. Going forward, I declare you blessed. Young glory is upon you. Stay focused. And I tell you, at the end of four years, you look back and say, it has been a good fight of faith. God did me well. God bless you, Excellency. Thank you so much. Everybody shout, Hallelujah. Thank you so much for this message. That was wonderful. Let's give the Lord a big hand. For God's servant. We are grateful to you, Apostle Eunice Osagide, for allowing God to use you tremendously in this service today. May God continue to be with you in Jesus' name. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Nogagaso Basaki. Um, this time is a very uh, crucial spiritual time and the church is going to invite you to come to the author to give your address but the leaders will stand with you first and you will make this prophetic shall we please Stand on our feet, everybody. Excellency, come to make this prophetic proclamation before the church and before Edo people and the Nigerian nation. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I now make this declaration from Genesis 45 verse 7. And God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. And the church says, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Sisters in Christ, let me, like a few speakers before me, observe the existing protocols because we are in the presence of God and the Lord has dominion. And he has all the protocols. We are here to thank God. To give thanks to the almighty God for what he has done. Not only for me and my colleagues in government, but to all of us in Edo State. 
and Nigeria as a whole. This is a day for thanksgiving and for appreciation. There's no doubt in our minds that we would not have been here today. We would not have accomplished all we believe that we have accomplished if not for God Almighty. If God had not willed it, it will not happen. So while I'm thanking everyone, starting with my deputy, the deputy governor of Edo State, who in my view was that anchor the Lord sent to preserve us. Himself and his wife Miriam bore perhaps the, one of the greatest brunts of this struggle. And as I said, he did it not for me, he did it for God. He did it because that's who he is. Because those are the values he shares. The values of truth, the values of honesty, the values of loyalty. I want to also thank our colleagues and brethren in the legislature. We know what we went through. We know you were the... You know you were the theater, the arena of the battle. We know the brunt you and your families went through. We want to thank God for your lives. I also want to thank you for holding fast and believing in God and in the two people. The judiciary is a bastion of our democracy. We have no armies of our own. We have no weapons. We only have the rule of law. We only have our constitution. And the judiciary, as with the design of our democracy, has the responsibility for interpreting that constitution. And we thank God for the quality of the people who man our judiciary in Edo State and in Nigeria. I want to thank the Chief Judge and all my Lord Judges for holding firm to the truth and to our Constitution. God will bless you. They talked about the umbrella that in the storm, in our political storm, my party, the People's Democratic Party, gave us that umbrella gave us a shelter without which we will not be here today. They thought we were finished. They thought we were done with. But God knew that we were not done with. We had perhaps one of the most strenuous and most innovative campaigns in the history of politics in Nigeria. We had a campaign council who did what they had not done before. They moved with us around the 192 words of Edo State. We traveled thousands of kilometers through difficult terrains. I thought we would not finish, but the campaign council members drove across the state with us and sent our message to every nook and cranny of the state. I want to use this opportunity. The church. I don't know where to start. I listened very, very carefully to the messages by the chairman of the and the preacher 
Pastor Zagiebe. And the rest are short. We have no doubts in our minds. We have no nothing to suggest that what has happened is by our own might at all. That's the farthest thing from the truth. It was as a result of God's direction. We were, I, if anybody says it's because we're strategic, we're strong, we're smart, it is not true. Because there are so many times in this struggle where we did not do anything. Things just happened. We just woke up to at the event unfolding themselves the way they did. And it couldn't have been because of us. It was because of what God wanted. So we have every reason to thank men and women of God who led Christians, also our Muslim brothers, to pray for us, to pray for our land. My biggest fear was that we will, we will, so that we do not attain victory on blood. That was our biggest fear. I had occasions to be with several of you individually and collectively, and I asked you to pray. And I know that for months, many of you kept vigil, praying for peace in Edo State and praying for us. So today we are here to give thanks to God Almighty for heeding to our prayers and hearing our calls. That is why we are here. So I want to use this opportunity while thanking God to also thank each and every one of you. From the chairman of Khan to the president of the PFN, to the archbishops of Benin Diocese, both Anglican and Catholic, and all of you, members of the various streams of Khan. This victory we are thanking God for today is not about me. It is a victory for God. God just wanted to tell us that He is God. No man is God. No man is God. It just happens that I am the agent. I and my colleagues just happen to be the instruments with which God decided to prove Himself in Edo State. So we cannot take the glory. We must always leave the glory for God Almighty. This victory is an affirmation that, like Pastor Sagede said, that we must continue and intensify what we've done in the last four years. And it is about sacrifice and service. Sacrifice, giving up of ourselves, and serving our people with all we have and also serving God. And I want to assure you that God giving us his grace, giving us the strength, we will do more than we did in the past first four years. Every incident, I have had time to sit back to reflect. We came back from Abuja yesterday. We met our friends. I had some the privilege of getting some background information, some of the things were going on while the elections were going on here. And it's only by the grace of God we survived. It is only by the grace of God. So, what do we give God back for this he has done for us? It is con to continue to serve him, to continue to praise him, and continue to do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Yes, you could say Abinye is prophetic. And I believe it's like this so. Because about 30 years ago, in a rather casual conversation with my mother, she said, you, your generation, 
is the last of the old order and the beginning of the new. And she said, if you of your generation do not accept the responsibility of beginning to fix Nigeria, nobody is going to do it for you. And if you do not, this country will be in a tailspin for a very, very long time. I always remember that. So, when I found myself in politics, which I never planned to be, I had no choice but to give my all. But on the final note, I want to assure everyone here, I want to assure the nations that we are very, very conscious of the fact that without peace, without harmony, you cannot have growth and progress. Like I said, the war is over. It needn't be a war, but it was a war. It is over. Our responsibility today is to be, continue to unite Edo, to unite with our kith and kin in our sub-region, so that we can have the peace that is required. We can create the environment that is needed to begin the tedious and enormous task of building or rebuilding our states and our country. I call on you to continue to have us in your prayers. It is not going to be easy. With COVID-19, the world has changed. The world will never be the same again. The way we relate to one another, see me talking to you with my mouth and nose covered. The way the world economy will operate, the things that will be important to mankind will be different from what they used to be. There will be a lot of upsets. There will be a lot of tension. But, as Pastor Sagede said, it is not new in the annals of mankind. We have gone through this generations past, through history. And the same God that saw us through these centuries, that brought us here to this time, will see us through this difficult time. I want to thank all of you on behalf of my family, my colleagues in government. I cannot start thanking each and every one or each group. Everybody who is here today has contributed in one way or another to us being here. And I want to say, well, what's this? Thank you. Your Excellencies, thank you very much. We are going to take this song, What Shall We Say Unto Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. And as we begin to sing that song, we want to ask the number one. Um, the first lady of Edo State, Mrs. Bestie Obasaki, um, to please come to the podium. She labored so much during the election. We never knew she could campaign like that. We want to thank God for your life. God's hand is upon your life. You are our mother in the state, and you remain our mother in the state. God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Um, we want to ask the Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Philip Shaibu, His Excellency, to please come to the podium. And we want to ask Her Excellency, the wife of the Deputy Governor of Edo State, Mrs. Miriam. 
Philip Shaibu to please come to the author. She did so well and then I was hearing the good news of all your campaigns, particularly in Afema, because that's our zone. Thank you very much. Church, we will sing that song and I will respectfully ask our Father, the President of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria and the Head of all Pentecostals in Nigeria, the General Superintendent of the New Covenant Gospel Church, Papa Felix Omovoden, to do the prayer. This time is absolutely significant. Please, sir, may I beg those who want to move, go back to your seat and return back to where you are now. Please return back. Go back until after this prayer. Please return back until after this prayer. Return back in the name of Jesus. I said to have another name greater than that. I thank all of you once again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please shall we rise on our feet. Where the choir take leaders in that song? Papa, I'm going to hand over the mic to you, sir. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say. Children of God, wave your hands and shout hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord our God has made. Yes. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. If you have the victory, wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Please let us pray. May I ask most senior apostle Murphy, please come close. Bishop Morning, let us come close. Reverend Father of Eric, come close. Please stretch your hands here, everybody. Our Heavenly Father, everything good and beautiful will be them all. We stand today to give you to give you praise when our hearts were overwhelmed we looked up to you the hills from whence our help comes we thank you for our great state. We are grateful that you gave us this beautiful state. We thank you that you saw us through the turbulent times. And we stand together.
we start to celebrate your wisdom and grace. We thank you for the peace you gave to us. We thank you that we can have another day like this and celebrate your goodness. You have shown to all that light will always defeat darkness. You have shown to us that truth will always prevail over falsehood. Be exalted forever. I don't know. No, I say, Obaseki is the governor of the whole of Edo State. Both those who stood in and those who stood against him. All drums are all down. I lift him and his amiable wife. The deputy. You will have the courage to do his will. And do people are yearning for more development, more progress. We lift you to God that He will order your steps. Wherever you face, light will shine. Every door you knock at that is critical to your success will swing open before you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord connect you to those who will help you. We bless you. We bless your team. At the end of this long road, you will look back and remember today that we committed you to him. You will not fail. Amen. You will not fail. And those states will continue to march forward. Amen. No weapon formed against her shall prosper. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. It shall continue to be well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the church say. And the church said, yeah. the Thanksgiving is still on. And please, the women under the leadership of the First Lady of the North State will be doing special Thanksgiving. And the men, you discover that the women supported you. So when the women are doing the role, the men should support them. Thank you. Um, the women thanksgiving. Your Excellency, permit us to do it. Praise the Lord. So Okay, please, please look at this, Your Excellency. Uh, where is the. Uh, no, no, the Excellency. Uh, can we bring the offering now? The judges? Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay, give us. I beg, help us share this video to friends and family before you go. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe. If you be my subscriber, anytime I upload new video to this my YouTube channel, you go be the first person to see them. So make I leave you now, make you help us share this video. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.